Hello Solar Power, meet your amazing phone. Solar Power is fantastic, isn't it? Sun shines down, special panels catch that sunshine. These panels are called photovoltaic panels. That's a big word. It just means they make electricity from light. This electricity is clean, it helps our planet, it can power your house. Think about that. Free power from the sun. Wow, now, inside your solar power system, there's a very important box. This box is called an inverter. The solar panels make a type of electricity called DC. That means direct current. But your house uses AC. That means alternating current. The inverter's job is to change DC to AC. It's like a translator for electricity. Without it, solar power wouldn't work for your home. It's a key player in your energy team. Guess what? You can watch your inverter work. You can see how much power it's making. This is called monitoring, and you can do it with something you probably use every day. In the old days, checking your solar inverter was different. It was not as easy as it is now. People often used a computer. Sometimes it was an old desktop computer. It might have been slow. It might have been clunky. You had to turn it on, wait for it to boot up, then open special software. It took time to connect the computer to the inverter you needed cables, special data cables. These cables ran from the inverter to the computer. This could be messy, wires everywhere. Sometimes the cables were short, so the computer had to be very close to the inverter, maybe in the garage or in the basement. Not always a comfy spot. Long cables could also be a problem. They could get damaged. Think about convenience, or rather, the lack of it. If you wanted to see your solar production, you had to go to that specific computer. You couldn't just quickly check. What if you were curious while watching TV or while cooking dinner? You had to stop what you were doing, go to the computer. So you want to monitor your solar inverter with your phone. That's great. What do you need to get started? First, your solar inverter needs to be a modern one. It needs to have the ability to communicate wirelessly. Many new inverters are built with this feature. They are designed to be smart. They want to talk to your devices. Next, you might need a small, clever device. This is often called a dongle. Think of it as a little messenger. It plugs into your solar inverter. This dongle is what sends the information out, so your phone can receive it. Some dongles use Wi-Fi, they connect to your home's wireless internet network. Just like your laptop or tablet does. This is very common. Other dongles might use Bluetooth. Bluetooth is a way for devices to talk to each other when they are close by. Your phone has Bluetooth, your headphones might use Bluetooth. If your inverter uses a Bluetooth dongle, your phone connects directly to it. You don't always need Wi-Fi for this type. Okay, you have your smart inverter, you have your dongle if needed, you have your phone. Now you need the special software. This software is usually an app, an application for your phone. Most solar inverter companies make their own apps. These apps are designed to work perfectly with their specific inverters. It's like a custom-made key for a lock. How do you find this magical app? First, check the manual for your solar inverter. Or visit the website of the company that made your inverter. They will usually tell you the name of their app, they might even have a direct link. This is often the easiest way to make sure you get the right one. There are many apps out there. You can also search in your phone's app store. If you have an iPhone, go to the Apple App Store. If you have an Android phone, go to the Google Play Store. In the search bar, type the brand name of your inverter. For example, Solar Brand X Monitor. Or you could try the model number of your inverter. The official app should pop up in the search results. Section 5. Connection time. Linking your phone and inverter. You've got the app installed. Great job. Now it's time to make the connection. Your phone needs to talk to your solar inverter. First things first. Make sure your communication dongle is properly installed. Is it plugged into the inverter correctly? Are there any indicator lights on it? Are they showing it's powered on and working? Check the dongle's instructions if you're unsure. Now, open the app on your smartphone. It's probably the first time you're using it. The app will usually guide you through the setup process. It will try to find your solar inverter. This might take a few seconds, or a minute. Be patient. The app is scanning for a signal, from your inverter's dongle. It's like a game of hide and seek but with radio waves. If your inverter uses a Wi-Fi dongle, the app will likely ask for your home Wi-Fi network name. This is called the SSID, and your Wi-Fi password. Enter these carefully so the dongle can join your network. Section 6. Live Solar Data. What secrets can your phone reveal? So you're connected. Your phone is talking to your solar inverter. What amazing things can you see now? The most exciting part is real-time data. That means you see what's happening right now. 
you can see exactly how much solar power your panels are generating at this very moment is it a sunny day you'll see those numbers go up it's like having a speedometer for your solar energy but that's not all many apps also show how much electricity your home is using right now are the lights on is the air conditioner running you can see the demand this is super interesting you can compare how much power you are making to how much power you are using are you making more than you need that's a great feeling you are a power producer some apps get even more detailed they can show you if you are sending extra solar power back to the electricity grid this is called export or feed in you might even get paid for this section 7 connection hiccups troubleshooting tips for you sometimes things don't connect on the first try don't worry it happens with technology let's go through some common troubleshooting tips what if the app says it can't find your inverter first double check that wi-fi or bluetooth dongle is it securely plugged into the inverter are its indicator lights on showing it has power and is working sometimes a simple wiggle or replug can fix it if you're using a wi-fi connection network issues are common is your home wi-fi network working correctly can other devices connect to it maybe try restarting your internet router and then restart your phone also double check that you entered the wi-fi password correctly in the app passwords are case sensitive one wrong letter can stop the connection it's like a secret code for bluetooth connections make sure bluetooth is turned on in your phone settings are you standing close enough to the inverter bluetooth has a limited range usually about 30 feet or 10 meters Section 8 Solar Power in Your Pocket The future is now! Isn't it amazing? Monitoring your solar power system right from your smartphone, it's so much better than the old ways. No more dedicating an old slow computer just for this task. No more tripping over messy cables running across the floor. And no more being stuck in one place to see your data. The power is literally in your hand. Or your pocket. Think of the convenience. You can check your solar energy production anytime anywhere you have an internet connection or bluetooth range depending on your setup are you at work on the bus lying on your couch just pull out your phone tap the app and there's your solar data instantly this makes being a solar owner even more rewarding and much more interactive this easy access to information is powerful it helps you understand exactly how your solar system is performing you can see when you generate the most power you can see how much your home consumes this knowledge can help you make smarter energy choices. Maybe you'll decide to run your dishwasher when the sun is shining brightest. This can help you save more money.